What's going on guys, this is Jake and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a couple different options that will allow you to create product bundles inside of your Shopify store. And we're going to be taking a look at the pros and cons of each to try and narrow down which option that you would want to use for your store in particular. So just recently Shopify released their own app here for bundles and it's free. And we're gonna be looking at the functionality of that and comparing it to the functionality of the Simple Bundle and Kits app, which I've made a tutorial on previously, which I'll link in the description. And I chose Simple Bundles to use for this comparison because I think it's the best of the third-party bundle apps, and I've tested pretty much all of the bigger ones in the App Store. I find Simple Bundles very easy to use, and it also has the Built for Shopify badge right here, meaning it's been vetted directly by Shopify's app team for quality and performance. So first off, when you're trying to determine which one of these apps you want to use, you need to know which type of bundle you're actually trying to create. So if we take a look at the help center for Shopify, we can take a look at these different bundle types here. So first off, we have a fixed bundle type, which we can see here is a bundle that's made from a set of predetermined products and the customer can choose from the associated variants. So in this case, we have a hair and skin bundle with shampoo, conditioner and moisturizer and the customer gets to choose a size for the shampoo, size for the conditioner, and a scent for the moisturizer. The second type of bundle we have is a multi-pack, which is a fixed bundle with more than one of the same products. So we can see this bundle here is a three pack of shirts where you get to choose three different shirts in three different colors, but they're locked into a size medium in this case. And then the third type of bundle is a mix and match. So this is going to be one where the customer can essentially create their own bundle by choosing from the products and the associated variants. So this type of bundle is going to have a lot more options. And we can see here that they say that you can use Shopify's bundles app for the fixed and the multi-pack bundles. But if you want to do mix and match bundles, then you're gonna have to use a third party app here. So let's take a look at a couple actual examples of these different types of bundles and take a look at some of the limitations. So if we open this bundle up here, we can see that I pretty much duplicated the bundle that they used in the example right here, which is a three pack of shirts where you can choose between different colors. So this was created using the Shopify bundles app. So if I were to come over here and open up the bundles app, we can see that this was created right in here and it contains a duplicate of these three products here. So this was pretty easy to create. It only takes a couple of seconds. So if you have a basic bundle like this, the Shopify bundles app will be good for that. However, one limitation that is going to come up with this is going to be the variant limit. So if I were to come over here to the products here, we see that this product was created with the one variable t-shirt, which is essentially it's a t-shirt where you can only pick the color but I have another t-shirt product right here, which if we take a look at it, is three variables. So you can pick the size, you can pick the color, and you can pick the material. And if we wanted to actually create a bundle with this product, we couldn't do it inside of the Shopify bundles app because the Shopify bundle app is limited to 100 variants, and this would put us way over 100 variants. So this is where we would use the simple bundles app to create something like this. So we're gonna take a look at this bundle product, the t-shirt three pack, three variables, which was created with the Simple Bundles and Kits app, which we can see is the same three pack, except now we can choose between different sizes, colors, and material for each one. So we have shirt one size, shirt one color, shirt one material, shirt two size, color material three, etc. So if you have products that have a lot of variants, then you're going to be better off using the simple bundles app because you're going to run into that variant limit very quickly with the shopify bundles app another limitation you might run into with the shopify bundle app is if you are trying to create a bundle with more than 10 different products you're not going to be able to so you can only create bundles with up to 10 products so if you want to create a larger bundle then you'd have to use the simple bundles app so we can take a look at what this bundle actually looks like inside of the app. So if I opened up the Simple Bundles app and we take a look at this bundle here, we can see that this is an infinite options bundle, which means that essentially 
there is no limitations to how many variants or products you can put inside of the bundle right here. So we can see we have product one with the three options and all of the variants. We have product two and product three. And if we wanted to add more to this bundle, we could just by clicking on add products or add products with variants. And like I said, there's no limitation on these bundles here. So if you want to create a really complex bundle, then you're going to be much better off using the simple bundles app. So now we'll take a look at a couple examples of actually creating a bundle in each one of these apps here. So, so let's say we wanted to create a bundle that contained all of these skincare products here. So the cleanser, moisturizer, toner, and this beard trimmer. And since each one of these only has one variant, this is a very basic one. So I could create this one with the Shopify bundles app. So if I were to open that up, click on create bundle and just call it skincare bundle. And then we can select the four products here. And you save and continue. And then essentially what this did is it literally just created a product inside of our store. And then you just have to assign it an image. So the Shopify version of the app works if you are trying to create something really basic. But now let's say you wanted to create a mix and match bundle that let's say contained the shirt, the hat, and the hoodie. And you want the customer to be able to choose between the different variant options of the shirt, the hat, and the hoodie as well. You don't want it to be set. So for that, we're going to have to use simple bundles. So if we open this up in the app here, I'm gonna show you how you can create that. So if we came over to build bundle, and we select the infinite options bundle here, which allows us to exceed the 100 variant limit. And we're going to choose to create a new product. But one thing you can also do is select an existing product that's already inside of your product library. But we're going to create a new one in this case. So we'll just call this outfit bundle and click save. And let's say we'll just price this as $50. And now what we need to do is just add in our products with variants. So our first product is going to be the shirt. So we'll add that in. Our next product is the hat. And our last product here is the hoodie. So we've already added in all three of these products. So now all we'd have to do is actually edit the names of the drop downs really quick. And we can see over here on the left, the preview of what the drop down is actually going to look like on the product page. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these out real quick. So I went ahead and updated the drop down titles here. So now we can see that it looks better. So the customer would be selecting the t-shirt size, color, material, the hat color, the hoodie color and the hoodie size and that's how they would build the bundle so once we've set that up i would just click on save and what i'm going to do is i'm going to view this in shopify so we can see that it created the product in shopify for us as well and i'll just add an image to serve as the main image for this product so if i were to add that in i'll just change this to active click save and we can preview it and we can see that now we have this outfit bundle right here with all of our different options. So now that we've created this, let's actually just take a look at what it would look like to check out really quick. So if I were to just add this to cart with the base options and we go to checkout, we'll see here that this is what the bundles actually look like in checkout. So we have the items inside of the bundle showing up here that you can either show or hide. And then right here under the outfit bundle, we have all of our bundle details showing right here that we selected back on the product page. So overall, when it comes down to deciding which one of these apps you wanna use for creating your bundles, it's going to depend on the level of control and customization that you want to have. So Shopify's solution is definitely very basic. So it's going to be limited in a lot of its functionality and options versus the Simple Bundles app is going to have a lot more customization options and a lot more functionality. So in most cases, the Simple Bundles app is going to be more applicable for the majority of merchants and it has a free plan as well. So I would say that the majority of time, Simple Bundles is going to be the better option. So you can check out Simple Bundles by clicking the link in the description.
And if you want to see some other differences between the two apps that we didn't touch on in this video, you can check out this article here that compares Simple Bundles with Shopify Bundles. I'll leave this link in the description as well. And one other important thing that I would like to note regarding both apps is that the Shopify Bundles app only works with the online store sales channel. So if you're using point of sale or any other sales channels, then you're going to want to use the Simple Bundles app as well because it's going to be compatible with sales channels outside of just the online store. So with that said, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in another one.